okay so firstly i want to take the top soil as i already told better to maintain the three to one eh? that means three uh, percent uh, top soil two percent uh, compost and one percent cocoa peat so in that case just three percent we can use like that so one handful of uh, top soil two three this for one on making on uh, Matter on on method on only what is called the uh, for on stem only yeah? so this is the compost so we mix properly so this is the mixing way so first we mix then one or oh, supposed to be this is two huh? this is two uh, uh, the compost is two so this is the two percent that means two handful of compost uh, three on full of topsoil and if any barks uh, sometimes the compost is mixed with the plant particle so if any hard particle we should remove that on and even sometimes there are the stone particles so we have to care, be careful that if stone particles sometimes it will hurt the uh, root uh, system uh. then one cocoa peat uh, is the cocoa peat so on cocoa peat so cocoa peat sometimes there are some other mixture so we have to remove then we have to mix with the all all three yeah? all three media so you can use a big bowl eh? plastic bowl is better to mix so i'm just using the uh, plastic uh, box to make it convenient eh? so this is some already fallen so we can uh, take it then we have to it's already well mixed then we have to add water eh? Because we have to prepare the mud paste so we have to be careful should not be very wet huh? then we have to prepare if more or less happen then you can add some uh, soil and some compost no problem so you have to mix properly like that actually this is not mandatory yeah? as a uh, practical material so i am showing in a uh, formal way so but it uh, may be in informal eh? so just do like that mix properly with the water okay sometimes we can use why we are using wet wet media eh? because if this not if it's dry then the root cannot be initiated from the plant eh? need wet so for this but should be that we can uh, make a bowl like that eh? it's almost okay so depending on the size eh? so later i will show the plant how centimeter usually five to six meter centimeter is better depending on the size of the stem eh? if the uh, the diameter of the stem is very big then we maybe sometimes we need more but it's normal case this one this one like all likes a ball huh? ball like that then actually then we have to paste like that huh? this we can lay like that then the stem should be at the middle then we have to cover like that then later i will show you so this is our media is already prepared then we have to go to the plant we have to remove the uh, what is called the bark then we can do that okay so this is our coffee garden so uh, there are two types of coffee here one is coffee liberica coffee arabica so i want to show you the ear layering eh? it's called ear layering in coffee plant so this is the faculty of sustainable agriculture university of malaysia sava so this is our selected uh, uh, plant uh, the selected plant that one and this is the selected stem where i want to do the layering so this plant and uh, this uh, uh, actually we should choose a, a stem where we can easily do the uh, incision cutting and removal of the bark so in that case we should this is the and better in between two nodes uh. here you can see this one node two node and this three node but in between two this is very uh, area is very small in that case we can increase that three huh? 
in the middle one node is another two nodes so all the barks we, we need to remove that first but better i'm telling you again better in between two nodes eh? because the root will be initiated from the node from here and from here so this is the normal uh, system of the plants they if they want to produce the roots eh? so the, from this side is a little bit uh, not so clear because due to the weather eh? today is the way uh, the weather is cloudy so in that sense a uh, little bit uh, dark today so however will not be problem so now i want to show you how to make the incision and remove the bark first okay so this is the stem so i want to show you how much centimeter is it so it is about uh, the incision i want to make is about seven centimeter so this is the scale about centimeter just i have told you already better in between two nodes but is a node uh, distance is very uh, very narrow very small in that case i'm increasing another and another and uh, node here so now i have to give the this is the incision using the sharp knife you have to make incision uh, be careful that we have to only cut the bark uh, not the stem so this one and here we can make another one so like that like make a round first then make a, a straight incision eh? a straight incision as copy and the bark is not so after that we have to remove the bark eh? so one by one you can see the bark here so after you have to remove all the bark eh? one by one so sometimes we can use our nails to remove the bark so slowly slowly like that you can use the knife to remove okay sometimes it takes time eh? so one by one just remove eh? make it convenient like that okay Okay, so entire bark we have to remove. Okay, like that. Okay, so you have to be very careful. You should not cut your hand. Eh? Sometimes doing that may some accident may happen eh? as if it is first time those will try the first time for them it may be a problem but if you try more it will be very easier for you so you can remove the bark like that because we need to remove the bark to stop the transportation eh, from here to there eh. so for that purpose the from that cut portion they will start the initiation of roots so meaning is that already clear i have already removed the bark now i have to take the media so you see so closely here Okay. So now this is our media. Yes, I already so make. Sometimes here may be needed more. So like a rectangle, like a. Or can you see the four? So like that, huh? So keep like that. Then entirely paste here sometimes if the soil is not good it may fall down eh? so like that we have to okay 
Okay. To try properly. Compact. Huh? Try to compact it with the stem. Okay. So this is already done. Now we have to try with the. This is the wrapping plastic. So you do like that. So okay. So wrap it properly like that. Then we have to tie. Huh? Then we have to tie here. So firstly give it a tie. Okay. So during tying we have to make it compact eh, again. Because by the shaking of the hand sometimes it may, it may be loose. So for that you have to so you can do like this on wrapping like eh? so it's make it very tight okay then give a tie here you can take a small rope huh, to make it handle easier then you can do the tie like that huh? to make it more compact okay and then here there is the uh, another uh, corner another uh, tie so you can try here hardly okay like that so this is done huh? so this is called ear layering then just you just cut the excess rough okay so this is called the ear layering huh? so after about three weeks huh? sometimes three to four weeks you have to come and you have to observe the root initiation and the root uh, development if you see the enough root is already gone from that side and that side from both sides they will produce the root and the root development you can see they are uh, moving from one side to another side and one corner to another corner so by this way because we are using so far this is a transparent plastic eh, that we can see the root inside so this is done the ear layering in coffee plant eh? so you can use other, other, other plants like the what is called the uh, especially we do in uh, guava we can do it in guava in uh, lemon lime or different types of plants you also can do there are so many plants you can do so this is very not so tough very easy eh? this asexual product reproduction so after initiation of the root after three weeks usually it takes three to four weeks then after that we have to cut from here eh? we have to cut from the base of that stem then we have to plant in uh, in your desired place so this is your layering in coffee plant. Eh? So that's all from me. Hopefully I will come up with another videos.